Good morning. We are talking about the Sermon on the Mount and how Jesus has shifted gears to basically address three in particular, but I think more, more on the whole, this whole idea of practicing the things that we do for God in front of people so that we garner their approval, their attention, their applause. And if we do, then all we get is their applause. We get no uh, approval or reward or anything from God. We, got, we get the whole payment in full by what we get from other people in this whole thing. And the Lord is challenging us to do things for the audience of one to do these things for the audience of one. Now, over and over again in this particular section, he's saying that you're, if we do these things in front of people, we just get what comes from them and that's it. The question I think that this begs from us is how tied in to other people's opinions are each of us? How tied into other people's opinions of you are you? How much is your sense of self, your sense of worth, your sense of, uh, of purpose tied into what other people think of you? And how much is that kind of dictating the playing field in terms of what you are doing with your life and why you are doing it? The Lord is saying in, in this section that you whatever you get from them is all that you get if that's who you're doing it for. But do it for me, whole different animal. That now my approval comes to you. Now my reward comes to you. Now my kingdom comes into you. Now my kingdom comes through you. I want you, the Lord says, to practice these things in front of me. And so again, we have to come back to that very important question. How tied in to other people's opinions are you for you? Think about that. As you wrestle this through, think about how much of your your value and your worth do you hand to other people? And if they give, if they don't give you any worth, if they don't feed back any worth to you, then you feel worthless. Well, it's time to change that equation and start looking to the Lord to pour into us as we do these secret things and cultivate a secret life with him. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you tomorrow night at the Christmas party and Sunday. God bless you.